I don't know if you can hear me as well on this as you can on my cell phone, but this is a continuation of the same video, except it's on an iPad. This is the 5th Street Bridge in Yuba City. And uh, they're going to make it into a four-lane bridge, which is cool. It will help the traffic and everything. And what you see up there is a bike lane. Uh, let me go up there and show you real quick. talking about tearing it down. Now, I happen to like that train bridge. I like watching trains. They don't go through there anymore, but I still like to walk across and look at the river below and look at the scenery. Now, you just saw the sidewalk for bicyclists. Well, if they do tear that down, this is what I think might happen. They're gonna build that bridge you can see the pylons, concrete pylons and everything. It's going to be attached right to this bridge here, turning it into a four-lane bridge. There's going to be two lanes on the 5th Street Bridge here, going in and out of Yuba City and Marysville. And there's going to be a two-lane bridge right here, going in and out of Yuba City and Marysville. And I bet you anything, they're going to attach it right to this, to the 5th Street Bridge. And if they decide to tear down the train trestle, which is right over here, this will no longer be used. It'd be great if they just fixed it up and use it for a bike lane. See that guy up there on that bike? I don't know if you can see him. You see, he's over there crossing the train bridge. It would be nice if they kept this bridge here, not only for a sense of, a sense of preserving history, but also to use it as a bike crossing path for people on bicycles. It would be awesome. But if they tear that down, that's a piece of history you're going to lose. Now, there's a lot of people in Marysville, Yuba City, and worldwide who don't care about history. But there are some that do. And if they tear this down, the people that come and visit this town, Marysville and Yuba City, they're never going to know if a train ever came through here. They're not going to know that piece of history. Unless they got some picture in a book or in the library or a video like mine which is probably not the best video so if they tear that down then I'm guessing over here on this side this is where the bike lane is you see how it overhangs there that metal beam well that's the bike lane that's for bicyclists and people who walk across the set chain link fence that's a little section for people to walk across the bridge. If they decide to tear that bridge down, that train trestle, they're going to, I guess, det attach this bridge to the Fish Street Bridge and leave this in the center for bicyclists and, you know, pedestrians. So basically, if that's the case, which will be pretty interesting, because you'll be in the middle of four lanes of traffic. Now, not only will you see cars coming on the right hand side going into Marysville you'll be seeing cars coming in on the left hand side and you'll be right in the middle of it all and I guess this will divide you from the traffic I don't know so and this is another way to get down you know under the bridges and everything so and if you look over there as you see I showed you guys on this other video on my other phone you see those wood pilings those wood you see that tractor there well, just beyond it where the shore is, that's on the Marysville side. See, in, off in the distance, you'll see the 10th Street Bridge. But on the shoreline, just beyond that tractor, you see those wood, pieces of wood, piers, like poles sticking out of the water, all in the river, and on the side, that's an old train bridge, or an old bridge from back in the 1800s, back in the day. And those things are still sitting there to this day. So, it's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, 
don't mind the trash and garbage, but yeah, they're gonna clean the place up. It's gonna look pretty good. It's just, you know, all this spray paint and crap all over here. You know, I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna give you guys one last look at the train trust. No, I don't really want to leave my bike there unattended, but I'm going to go ahead and do a mad dash up here. Just to give you a nice view of what the train trestle looks like. Now the tracks are gone, but believe me, they used to be here. You see, there she is. And there's the Fifth Street Bridge. And I used to ride my bike across this, walk across it. Now you can't because it's lit. the boards are falling down the place. It's unsafe. Uh, on the other side of the bridge, I don't go too far because my bike is just like down there. But, uh, on the other side of the bridge is a flat. I'm just giving you guys one last look at it before they tear it down. So hopefully they don't, but if they do, they do. So that's uh, the nice thing we see on this side. Over here on this side. And then Marysville is on that side. But right over here, Marysville. dangerous bridge. It's been sitting there for a long time. And uh, who knows, it might I, it'd be nice if they put a road here for bicyclists. And as you can see on the other side, that's the where the bicyclists go across. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I wasn't bored. I hope this wasn't boring. It wasn't too windy, it's a little windy today, and I almost fell my butt. I'm gonna get on out of here because I don't want people to think I'm going crazy making a video. I'm just doing this for, you know, memories, in case they do tear it down. So this is the last look of the train trestle. I don't know if I'm gonna come back here again. Uh, I might, I don't know just to see the uh, progress but it's a big progress so say goodbye to the piece of the past say goodbye to the train trestle that trains used to drive the passengers and food and supplies to Marysville and Yuba City say goodbye to that it's gonna be gone there's another guy on a bike he wants to come down here and check it out too anyways hope you enjoyed the video Hope I gave you some sense and some history in this town, Marysville and River City. It's not perfect, but there it is. And I'm gonna post this on YouTube. That way I can look back at what once was. And it would be cool to have a little bit of the old and the new. You know, that would be nice, but I don't know what's gonna happen. So say hello to the new and goodbye to the old. This is Video Man signing off for right now. I'll leave you with the last view of what we're working on. Have a nice day. Please like and subscribe if you will. And comment.